Francis forward. Oh, nice was nice. And then Arta just gets away from the midfield now. Adam Alabd up against him, plays it wide to Pew. He's going to. Well, that was a great ah, challenge. The ball there. He's given a penalty. Outrageous. Given a penalty. That looked like. That just looked like such a great challenge. But the referee says no. Well, look at that one again. That's a real shocker. No, not in the sense I'm saying it's a wrong decision, I just say it's a shock to see it given. Yeah. The other fact is he's probably got a little bit wrong. He's one on one, so he's the last man. He takes him on, so you know, not saying she's sending him off, but like, get it right, referee. Just as he did, I thought it's okay, he's got a good touch on that. And then it, I looked at the ref and thought, here we go, he's going to point to the spot. Well, let's have a look now, Bob. Yeah. That was, okay. looks to me like a perfectly fair touch. Inigo Calderon, who is still arguing with the referee. I don't blame him, obviously. Try to be as impartial as we can up here, but it did look to me as though that was a fair challenge from Inigo Calderon. Anyway, it's Lewis Grabham who put himself into double figures for the season now, up against Thomas Cusack. Grabham, 1-0. Uh, you know. The boos ringing around. The Amex Stadium, not at that end though. The yeah, Bournemouth point. fans, huge following from Bournemouth. There they are, loving every minute of that. And Lee Camp applauding the fans. And Bournemouth have, I have to say, an unlikely, and I'm not sure, particularly fair lead. But they took he took the penalty well because Grabman had to wait an awful long time for that. 